Hi, this is Nancy Yearout, and welcome to High Road to Humanity. Today is Saturday, it's July the 15th, and thanks for joining me. You know, I really felt that it was important that I come on and talk about this new movie that's come out. I want everybody to go see it, The Sound of Freedom. It is produced by Angel Productions, so that gives you a little bit of indication. I went to see it this week, and the theater was packed. I mean, there wasn't an empty seat, and it was 1230 on a weekday. People want to know what's going on and thank goodness they put this movie together. Now I've done some research and, and I wanna just share with you my findings because what we've got going on here throughout the world, not just the United States, is human trafficking and they're trafficking children, okay? And this is about the children and this is why it is so important that you guys go check this movie out and see it because everybody needs to know what's going on. Children are being trafficked in the United States and abroad, okay? this The movie is a, based on a true story. So I want everyone to know that. This is not just something that somebody, you know, decided, oh, let's just do this. This is based on a true story. And at the end of the movie, I don't want to give it away. They show the real characters in this movie. So it's just amazing. And you need to go see it. It's just really, really that important. I pulled some stuff and I just wanted to share a few things with you today. I also channeled my angel and Gabriel and asked what they thought, so I'm going to bring you that. And I've pulled some information from different news sources because there have been 85,000 children, migrants that have crossed the United States border that are unaccounted for. So where are the children? Here are some reviews from Sound of Freedom. I just thought I'd read you a few that people wrote, you know, that I pulled online that I thought would interest you. I'll just give you a little synopsis. Sound of Freedom takes you on an emotional and eye-opening journey that leaves an indelible mark on your heart and mind. This powerful and thought-provoking film released in 2023 is a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the unwavering determination to bring justice to the voiceless. I thought that was really cool. There is another one. As a father, Sound of Freedom touched me deeply and impacted my heart. This powerful film not only sheds light on the horrific reality of human trafficking, but also showcases the unwavering courage and determination of individuals fighting to protect innocent lives. And that's what we have to do. We all have to stand up. This is it. This is the time, guys. These are the children. These are the world's children. These are God's children. And in the movie, it says, and I'm just going to say it, God's children are not for sale. Here's another. I'm extremely grateful to Robert, a close friend of my son, who has consistently been a positive influence. He dedicated his time to this film, spreading goodness and encouraging collaboration in the fight against darkness. Additionally, he gen generously shared his promotion code enabling some of us to take part in this extraordinary cinematic experience. There's all different, you know, people have written so much about this movie. Now, when I went online to see what, you know, the world has to say, I pulled different venues. Uh, Yahoo says the faith-based child trafficking thriller Sound of Freedom has become one of the biggest, most unexpected box office hits of the year, thus far ranking are raking in 53 million and counting, and even outdoing the Walt Disney backed Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Harrison Ford's farewell to his signature um, fedora wearing adventure on a 4th of July holiday face off. The film's underdog success story isn't the only reason it's making headlines, though. There has been an outlash, outlandish QAnon centric conspiracy theory spread and refuted. A screening planned for former President Donald Trump and a link made between the film and a years old congressional testimony by Ashton Kircher. Well, this is Yahoo. So, you know, here's what I'm seeing. And you guys need to know this. So I have a little channel on TikTok. And so I do my angel readings there. And what I've learned about TikTok is that it's the platform where people can actually tell you what really is going on. There are so many people who have come on and said, I went to the theater to see Sound of Freedom 
and there was no air conditioning. I went to the theater to see Sound of Freedom and they said there weren't any tickets available and when you go in, the theater's empty. I have heard on so many people say, I've gone in and halfway through the movie, an hour in, they say there's a problem and everyone has to leave and they'll give them free tickets. So <laughs> this is no conspiracy. They don't want us to see this movie. Why? Because human trafficking is going on in the United States and abroad. And there's tunnels, you guys, up underneath. These are tunnels that are built by military. So what do you think? This is from USA Today. Why Sound of Freedom, Jim Cavazell's controversial child sex trafficking film is a hit. Well, it's a hit because people want to know the truth. Hello? So far, the summer's box office titans feature wholly predictable stars and titles. There's a Harrison Ford in the final Indiana Jones. We don't, I love Harrison Ford, but this is about kids. It says the outside of Hollywood entry into the summer sweet six about a federal agent tackling child sex trafficking took in 19.7 million last week, according to the box office mojo that's behind um, freedom, the third most popular movie in the country behind top grossing. And it goes on, but Again, we're back to the same thing. The outside of Hollywood entry into the summer sweepstakes about a federal agent taking child sex trafficking, and it just goes on. This one's from the New York Post. I just don't want to bore you with all the little stuff. Republican senators want feds to explain losing 85,000 migrant children. Now, this is from April 28, 2023. Again, New York Post, a pair of Republican senators are demanding that federal officials account for how they reportedly lost track. You're going to lose track, but this is what it says. Lost track of 85,000 migrant children over the past two years. The clamor from Senator Marsha Blackburn, Republican from Tennessee, and Josh Hawley, Republican from Missouri, comes on the heels of a February New York Times report that Department of Health and Human Services have been unable to contact thousands of unaccompanied minors who were placed with sponsors after crossing the border, raising fears that they've been trafficked for cheap labor. They're not being trafficked for cheap labor. They're being sold to the sex trade. This is really sad. Here's another one. Fox News, Biden administration pressed over 85,000 unaccounted for migrant children released into U.S. forced labor allegations. Again, a Republican senator is pressing the Biden administration over 85,000 unaccounted for migrant children released into the United States, according to a letter provided to Fox News Digital Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn sent a letter to Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier um, Bersera on Thursday demanding the answers for the abuse, abuse and exploitation of migrant children following reports of forced labor and whistleblowing testimony that the government is delivering some to human traffickers. This is a whole thing. This is really, 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 really sad, you guys. I just, you know, what's going on here? And it's just not, I, I need to bring up Disney here, okay? Because I saw that there were three Disney employees arrested recently. The Polk Sheriff talks about it. I'm going to kind of give you a brief overview. I saw this. Wilkinson Fidel, or from Orlando, he worked at the Cosmic Restaurant in Tomorrowland. He was arrested for, they had undercover um, women posing, you know, young women, and they got him. Shapab Malar, 27, he's a software developer for Disney. He's from India. And he got caught. Again, they had the undercover, you know, people. And so he's in jail. Ralph Lease, 45, uh, from Winter Garden. He was an IT employee of Disney. Uh, he's been there for four years. And he's married. There's uh, also arrested a trafficker. And it's a woman. Her name is Tiffany Nash. She's 32 years old. She had 61 previous crimes, 41 were felonies, and she's the manager of the KFC in Orlando, and they got her for trafficking children. I'm just mentioning. So Disney has seen a massive drop in attendance because of what's going on. You know, I wouldn't take my kids to Disney for nothing. I'll tell you what, these guys are child traffickers.
this is crazy stuff that's finally coming out. And aren't you glad the truth is finally coming out? But the deal is, what do we do about it? You got military bases. There are deep tunnels within the earth. This is where they're doing all the trafficking. This is a Satan situation we got going on here. So, of course, I took it upon myself to ask my angels what they feel. Now, my angel, I ask her, you know, what, what do you want me to tell humanity or what do you want people to know? And she said, children are being sent all over the world to accommodate the sex trade. There, this is, there is big money in selling children for sex and these people have no regard for human life. They see these children as money. This is one of the reasons that Jesus will come to save the children. For me to even talk about or even think about or even fathom you guys we have to stand up this is why i'm on today this is why i mean this is like gut-wrenching that these children there are children who've never seen the light of day do you know that that are in these underground tunnels that don't even know what the sky looks like because they've been born down there and this is what they do the children are being, this is what Gabriel said, Archangel Gabriel, I channeled him because I was like, I need to see what Gabriel wants me to say. So here you go. The children are being sexually abused by the evil, the dark. This is all known by your government and all governments around the world. No one will speak up because they will be killed or taken down. There is so much money in the child pornography industry that it is the number one money-making system on your planet. It will be stopped if enough people stand up. This is Nancy, this has been going on for so long that they don't even care that it's abuse. The money makes people do terrible things to each other and Jesus will stop this. This is why he's coming to save the children. We'll see the movie, you guys. This is high road to humanity. <laughs>